think of the Chinese still to come and the uh, Americans, Ina and Zimmerman, Petrova, Tikhonov, Sale and Pelletier from Canada. Could be that the Poles are pushed right down to something like sixth, seventh place now. I think that would be a gross misjustice, I have to say. Yeah, I do as well. I d don't think the judges have done them any favours so far this evening. It's uh, the way things are going as well, looking at the performances, these uh, pair skaters seem to have nerves of steel this evening. Julia Obertas and Dmitry uh, Palamachuk from the Ukraine will be the first to go. Julia just uh, 15 years of age. Then it'll be uh, Zhu Shen and Hongbo Zhao, then uh, Topmanina and Marinin, and then Kautz and Yashka. The only couple in this particular group who will threaten the leaders, and they will threaten big time, are Zhu Shen and Hongbo Zhao. As you saw in our last commercial break, runners up in Helsinki last year where they had an immense program. Uh, now, I've not seen it this year, the free program or the short from the Chinese in picture here, but uh, Chris, you have. Yeah, it's not a great program. I have to say that the short I haven't seen, the free program I was a little disappointed with, but uh, nevertheless, it was good enough for them to win the Grand Prix final. And uh, they're a fantastic team, these two. Tremendous confidence there. Ju, uh, 21 years old, and Hongbo, he's 26. They moved uh, alarmingly up the rankings. They were 11th in 97, then in Minneapolis they moved up to fourth place, and then last year in Helsinki moved to second. The Russians, Topmanina and Marinin. Uh, 23 years old last week. Tatiana, 18. Seventh in the world last year. Just looking down off camera, the uh, Chinese look awesome. So be skating at twice the speed of anybody else. in the lift there from the Russians. Last to go will be the Germans. Mariana Kautz and uh, Jorman, Norman Jeschka. Sixteenth last year in Helsinki and did very well in Vienna this year. Finished in the top ten, just in tenth place. Be looking for better than the uh, attempt at the throw triple toe that we just saw. Mind you, if you just joined us, we're exactly halfway through this pair's short program, which counts overall for 33% of the marks. 15 years of age, years, but uh, already almost a seasoned campaigner, Julia. Certainly is a uh, wealth of experience. Uh, twice winner of the Junior World title. Never really seemed to get it together in uh, Senior Worlds. But, uh, on their day, these two won, so uh, he'll be pleased about that. She looks relaxed. Well, they've succeeded at the highest level in the junior competition. Can they transfer that to the seniors? The Russians in their second World Championships. Had a busy year. Second in the uh, trophy La Ligue third in the Russia Cup. Just a shot there of the German team and uh, Nutschubert there. I wonder if uh, that team will be inspired by the performance of Schwartz and Müller lying in second place at the moment. It's 
Kirchner, the uh, coach of the runners-up in German nationals, Kautz and Yeshko, who are last to go. Just to confirm, it'll be the Ukrainians to go first. Then Zhu Zhen and Hongbo Zhao for China. Then Tatiana Totmianina and uh, Maxim Marinin for Russia. And then Kautz and Yeshka for Germany. First to go then in this fourth group from the Ukraine. Couple in their fifth year together, would you believe that? She's just 15 years of age. Yulia Hopetas and Dmitry Palamachuk. Their music titled Melendo Cafe. couldn't quite hold on to the side-by-side -side triple toe. Excellent triple twist though. elevation but plenty of length from that throw triple salco which did very well to hold on to that back outside edge on the landing of that just a lack of synchronization there sharp but the sharpness wasn't there when it really mattered and the magic went out of it and that stumble and no wonder she looks almost inconsolable because these two know they're good they're very very good and they weren't very very good tonight I have to say it was a wonderful choice of music I've thoroughly enjoyed watching the program loads of energy really vibrant from start to finish you're a bit of a Ricky Martin aren't you yeah I love it yeah you know that I do oh you do You've seen me in the bars in the evening. God, don't. <laughs> don't. <laughs> Some, Perish the thought, Something eh? put me off me evening. Yeah. <laughs> we just saw the stumble on the triple toe there. She recovered well. Tremendous character she's got. Good split double twist. And uh, here's the throw triple salco. Watch this. There's not a lot of height. She worked hard late in the knee bend. It will have affected her timing that, not to get the ele elevation that uh, she would have been expecting. So her feeling would have been to go down in the knee later, but uh, she did ever so well. Gloria. 
a slow mass. But I'm afraid it lost its impetus after that crucial mistake at the beginning. Again, it's a tough one for the judges to call. Here you can see the bandage on his wrist, which kind of helped. Not bad. <laughs> Expression that says a lot there. What a lovely face. 4.9 up to 5.1. And it's not going to be so disappointing. We've got the uh, placing in front of us. It's fourth. Remember, there was a big gap. That's what we thought would happen between uh, third and fourth. And that's where they slot in, right across the board. Good to see the judges uh, of one mind there. So that may not be too disastrous. Fourth place at the moment, roughly halfway through the competition. Now then, here are the favourites. Runners up last year, fourth in Minneapolis the year before. Winners of the Four Continents competition this year. Winners of the ISU Grand Prix final in Lyon. And without Berejnaya and Sikolitsi, they may well be in a class of their own. Zhu Zhen and Hongbo Zhao. Triple Tolu. <laughs> wow. Thought you'd never come down. Look at that, throw triple loop, as clean as a whistle. Well, that's the best throw of the evening by far. Look at the timing here. Could be seeing history this year. Never before have a pair from China won the gold medal at pairs. They'd never won a medal until last year when these two got the silver. And it's looking very probable that they might go one significant place better in 2000. Well, that's got my vote. <coughs> Definitely the uh, best short program that we've seen so far this evening. Throw triple loop was just unbelievable. Phenomenal control. 
And uh, the thing that I, I loved so much about the program was that uh, it was very intricate and they were going through all the moves without looking at each, other, at each other. They knew exactly what the other person was doing. You and I could practice that. We do. <laughs> I'll take you up on that later. <laughs> Certainly make the evening go. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> We might not be here tomorrow, folks. <laughs> Look at the timing yeah. on those triple toes. The timing was absolutely perfect, wasn't it, from and start to finish? This was just... Look! Incredible! She waited so long to get into the position and get the rotation. All the time in the world, and there's the triple loop. Look at it. Wonderful knee bend. Perfect control. It doesn't get any better than that. She's if you watch the landing, she's straight onto the outside edge. Yes, yeah, so she's stylish but powerful as well oh well, we've seen these two coming for a couple of years and they so nearly did it last year and the marks are comfortably the best so far and it's been a very very high standard competition and you can do them no more credit than that look at that could we be seeing a six here for presentation no but a row of ones, and that is all that matters for them right now. Right across the board, Shen and Zhao are the leaders, and the leaders by some significant margin in the short. So here are... Uh, the Russian number twos should normally have been the number threes, but of course Bereshnar and Sigalitsi aren't here to defend their title. So here are Tatiana Totmyanina and Maxim Marinin, seventh in Helsinki last year. These two have been practicing a side-by-side -side triple Lutz, but I don't think we're going to see that here. Natalia Pavlova, who looks after them. by Pink Floyd and then by Peter Gabriel. And a big split double twist. in opposite directions but they landed them side by side triple toes and a perfect throw triple loop as well. The first mistake and a bad one. No synchronicity there. He just seemed to lose his edge going into the camel spin. He did well to keep it going.
bad. She's giving them the encouragement they need. But what they wanted was not that big mistake on the side-by-side -side spin. And they'll be marked down for that. In uh, a very high standard evening, it could be very important. But it was so good at the beginning. That's why I was so surprised when the mistake happened. Well, it's uncanny, isn't it? Normally, a mistake like that uh, wouldn't be too expensive. But tonight, the standard has been so high, it's uh, going to be a very costly error indeed. But a lot to admire in this program. Here's the split double twist. She winds that right leg up. Good height on it. And there's the triple toes at the beginning. Perfect synchronization as they spot at the beginning. And uh, he fought hard. They both had to work hard on those landings. But making them count. Brilliant position in the star lift. one element that really let them down and there it is you can see uh, completely out of synchronization and it was the first part of the spin the camel spin that let him down lost all the momentum good position in the death spiral well it'll be interesting to see what the judges do with this one because there was such high quality, wasn't there, in almost everything else. Yeah, they could find themselves down in uh, fifth place. Yeah, certainly no better in my book. No. But mine's a pretty small book, as you know. <laughs> wow, look at that. Yes, it's going to be uh, fifth place. The oracle has spoken, and uh, for once he was right. It doesn't happen very often, so uh, just remember. Yes, watch this when it comes up. It'll be uh, number five. There you are. And you heard it first from Mr. Chris Howarth. And uh, look at that. All the other judges agree with you. It wasn't too difficult, was it? No. That's why I got it right. <laughs> Still, you were there. Top and Nina Marin in fifth. And last to go in this group. Representing Germany, who have done so well with Schwartz and Muller. In second, third place at the moment. Mariana Kautz and Norman Jeschke. Music uh, Godzilla. Jumps are okay, the uh, timing wasn't there. the uh, throw triple Salco. Just uh, a toe down there, so a toe loop.
Pretty good. And this high standard evening continues. But Schubert, another shot of him, he must be really thrilled. Uh, it's a phenomenal performance this evening from the couples that we've seen. It's uncanny, isn't it? Another brilliant program. Didn't quite have the polish of the top skaters that we've seen, but the elements were all there. No big deductions. That's the important thing in this short program. And it's making it very, very tough for the panel of judges. There's the split double twist. You can see they just about make that. Here's the uh, triple toe. She doesn't have a great position in the air. Had to work hard to keep that left leg on off on the landing. Hip lift into the star position. The leg uh, not as high as it could be. Goodness me, it's a tough one for the judges. A lot of this is going to come down to the choreography of the programs and the overall appearance of the uh, performance. Don't expect the next group to be as good as the one we've just seen or indeed the one that's to follow it. I don't think the top skater is going to be threatened by uh, the next group, which will happen in around, what, uh, 20 minutes time. But really, uh, incredible standard from the 14 couples that we've had so far. Even the couple in last place who started off who can run on. They weren't bad at all. No. They must be bitterly disappointed to be down there. But actually, to be fair, if they're watching at home, the British couple will probably recognise the fact that they have got that much more work to do. Because this has been extraordinary. And uh, that couple there, who produced such a good performance, are actually going to slot in in ninth place. And in a normal year, you'd think that would be, what, fourth or fifth? Not this time, but their time may well come. Seventh down to tenth, but it's ninth overall for Mariana Kautz and Norman Yeshka. So two-thirds of the way through, we've had four groups of the six, and that's the situation. Zhen and Zhao lead for China, Abitbol and Benedict in second place for France, and then uh, Schwartz and Muller for Germany. Three fantastic performances, four fantastic performances, really. Zagorska and Zudek, we think, uh, perhaps undermarked, well, definitely undermarked, perhaps they took the, uh, paid the price for going so early but uh, in fourth place, and they will not believe they're in fourth place. And uh, right at the bottom, well, the French couple, Bouc and Roland, down in 14th. 